Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Way of Saints. Today we're going to talk to you about Saint John Gualbert and he is the patron saint of forest workers, foresters. John Gualbert was born in 1985 of nobility. His sole sibling was his older brother Hugo. He was also related to the blessed Pietro Igneo. He was educated and raised Catholic, but in his adult years, he cared less for the religion. He instead lived a carefree life. But when his brother Hugo was murdered, Gualbert set out to avenge his brother's death. One good Friday, when he was entering Florence with his armed followers, he happened in a narrow lane to come across the man who killed his brother. The killer fell upon his knees and with his arms outstretched in the form of a cross and begged for mercy in the name of Jesus, reminding Gualbert that Christ had died on that day. Gualbert had then granted him mercy and renounced his revenge. John had then entered the Benedictine church of San Miniato al Monte to pray and the figure of the crucifix is said to have bowed its head in recognition of his generous and merciful act. Guaba begged for pardon of his sins and that week he cut off his hair and began to wear a habit that he had borrowed. Guaba then became a Benedictine monk of San Miniato despite his father's opposition. His father hastened to find his son but gave him his blessings when he had heard his son's arguments and saw that he was resolute in his decision. He fought against the Simeonical actions which both his abbot and the bishop of Florence were accused and their guilt discovered. Unwilling to compromise, he left to find a more solitary and strict life. He often fasted and imposed other strict penances on himself. His attraction was for the monks and not hermit life, and so he spent some time with the monks of Camaldoli, but later settled at Vallombrosa, where he had founded his own convent in the year 1036. Instead of a traditional garden, he opted to have his monks plant trees, like firs and pines, for most of it. He had also founded additional convents for his order. He then became noted for his figure of compassion to the poor and to the ill. Pope Leo IX had travelled to see the monk. Pope Stephen IX and Alexander II held him in the greatest eastern, as so did Pope Gregory VII, who praised Gilbert for his pureness and meekness of his faith. John had also admired the teachings of the Church and the Fathers, as well as St. Basil and St. Benedict of Nursia in particular. He never wished to be ordained to priesthood, nor did he ever want to receive the minor orders. Sadly, Gualbert had died at the age of 80 in the year 1073 and was canonized by Pope Celestine III. To end this video, I'd like to say, St. John Gualbert, pray for us.